Hi, this is James Stevenson. I'm the Senior Community Manager at Insomniac Games, and my question of the week is from the Fitz 88X. He asks, I've been taking a film appreciation class, and I ran across something interesting in the history of film and the history of games is almost running the same course. It took film around 40 or 50 years to be considered an art, and now that gaming is almost around that age as well, the same argument has begun to rise. But one of the interesting things was, was that around this time when, is when sound really came into film, when it was sh and when it was first shown to people, they thought it was gimmicky, just like motion controllers are thought to be gimmicky today. So my question is, could motion controls be the sound of our generation, and the idea of a controller to our grandchildren seem just as foreign as a silent movie being released to us today? It could be. I always think about uh, Back to the Future 2 and Marty McFly is in 2015 and he uh, goes to the old arcade game in the 80s cafe and the kids are like, you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Maybe it will be that way. You think 20, back, 20, 25 years ago to games like Donkey Kong where you had to go to a building and put a quarter in and play something small. And if you thought about the games we'd be playing today back then, you would have never believed it. Will motion controllers be how we play a game in 20 years? They could be. Will we go to a holodeck? And it could be. Will we get plugged into something directly and see it all inside of our head? It might be that too. It's really hard to say, but the one thing I think that is constant about games that makes us different from film is that everything keeps changing and technology keeps growing. Film technology hasn't changed a whole lot since then. You're still watching a static image, well, a moving image, but it's still a static screen that displays an image that you don't have any input over and you don't interact with, really. Um, yeah, we have some new CG, we have digital film, but things haven't changed. They've become very stable. I don't think we've reached that stability point in gaming yet, and I think that things are going to continue to evolve a lot over 20 years. Will we still be using 30-button controllers, the dual analog sticks, and analog buttons, and motion ones? Maybe. Could we be doing something completely else? Probably. So, there's a lot to say about where games are going to go. I don't think we've reached the maturity point yet, and it's going to be a fun uh, few rides as we get into the next several generations of console systems and as our kids all start playing video games. We can confirm! confirm.